Hello folks, basically what I've done here is I'm creating a tutorial on how to uh, make grass. Very cheap way to do it. Um, to get started what you need is you need to go to like Photoshop or GIMP, whatever you use, and create an opaque image like this of just nothing but black and white. The white is what's going to show up, the black is what's going to go away, which will be opaque. So you need an image like this. You want to go ahead and load it into your material library, which we've, oh, which we've got here. And as you see, having this um, bitmap as your opacity creates this kind of an image. And you want it to be two-sided, so no matter how you look at this on a, um, a mesh, it's going to show both sides, not just one. Um, and then as a diffuse, I pretty much made myself a little bit of a greenish colored noise about a size of 17.3 or whatever feels comfortable to you now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and start off by uh, create yourself a box let's go ahead and create a box this will be your ground okay now that you've got your ground go ahead and See, this one was basically just the just a grass map that came with uh, 3ds Max. Just something simple. Go ahead and apply it. Click Standard Map and Viewport. That way you can see it. Now you've got your basic ground. That way, in between your grass blades, you're gonna it's gonna still look like you got grass on the ground. Now simply just go ahead and make a plane. Go to your front viewport. Make it about I don't know maybe this big it all depends eh, actually we want to shrink it down a little bit as the grass shouldn't really be that big and tall Good. make it a little even with the ground alright notice how this has segments to it you want to go ahead and drop that down to one each that way it's simple don't take too much hardware acceleration to run it all right let's see we go ahead and go to material editor we take our opaque grass map now we apply it now you see we've got so far what looks like grass now what I'm gonna do is this is another option is you can go ahead and take it shrink it down make it tall Now you want to rotate and press shift. And I'll say about like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and freeze this so we can select what we need. Alright, we're gonna take it and we're gonna do it again. Just keep doing it quite a few times until you got what you want. Let's say about like that. Now what you can do to randomize this is go ahead and maybe select one, scale a little bigger. Uh, let's see, scale another one. Now I see what I've I've done here is let's see, we'll put that one down a little. In my map, I already had this done for a different way I was doing it, but what I'm gonna do is the tiling of my opacity. I made it a little bit more than it needs to be. So let's go ahead and make it a 1. So there we go. Let's see what that's done for us. Alright. It's a little better. A little better. Okay. Now what I've done here is... What happens is... Alright. Let's see you leave this at 1. Go ahead and render it. Now watch what happens. Uh, you can't see it there. Okay, well you can see it on the viewport. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and render it anyway. See these lines? There's little lines. This is something, for some reason it happens, it won't clip off. So what I do is I go to about, say, 8. Now when I render this, you have no lines and it looks like you've got a nice little patch of grass now what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, we can group these 
we'll name the group grass at underscore patch zero one now, the reason we're doing that is so whenever we have to look through our uh, meshes and stuff, we know exactly what the name is, so we ain't picking something that says uh, plane one. Now, what we can do is unfreeze. Well, no, we're going to go ahead and keep this uh, ground froze. Is you can go ahead and just hold shift, move them over, select them again, and just keep duplicating them. Maybe even give them a, a turn for randomization. Now what we're doing here is we're practically creating a big grass patch. Let's go ahead and do it again. And you can keep going over and over until you've, you know, until either your computer is going to freeze up or until it looks the scene looks comfortable to you. Just remember, the more you make, the, the harder this uh, computer has to concentrate on the picture. Now see, I'm going to take his center one and say this is going to be a good grass patch. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, what's going on here? Ah, wrong one selected. There we go. Upsize it a little. Just You want to randomize everything. Now... Let's let's zoom in on this piece, and we'll render and see how our grass looks. Now, to me, that looks like some grass. And the more you put, the more it'll start looking more realistic. In fact, if you want to, you can even go this far since it all looks so straight. We'll tuck it down in the ground a little bit more. Let's try that. Well, you pretty much get the point of this, but that is my grass tutorial. If you have any questions, just pretty much uh, post something on this uh, on this page, and um, I'll try to answer it the best I can. Thank you for watching.